Okay. Hi. Uh, you may have heard that we had some uh, technical difficulties, and uh, that's who we are here. We don't. We don't hide it. We just let it be. We just let it happen. You know. You're all back, coming back, and being strong. We're just we're waiting for my favorite co-host. You know, we're waiting for her. We're waiting for it. Yeah. Okay. She's not here yet, y'all. All good. It is all good, Podiori. New beginnings. Take 78, Amy. Tank. No, you're right. We can't be good at all the things, Jill. It wouldn't be fair. Jolene, how do you know Emma Isaacs? How, the, how crazy was that? I was like, what's happening? I couldn't figure out what feed I was on. I got confused and it all got weird. But we're all together now. I hope everyone's weekend is good. Um, mine has been good, I think. It's hard to keep track of the days, you know? I've been working a lot, uh, which is good. None of those things are bad things. Let's see. Fran, what up? Prudy, back in the place to be, what up? Um, hi, Prudy, again. We're coming to see you so soon. Can someone please send her a coffee or data? <laughs> Probably, you know what modern day she probably, we probably have to send a producer. Everybody be cool, be cool. Just tell Liz it's okay. I waved, I just waved to Elizabeth Gilbert. I waved to her, that was funny. She's here. <laughs> Hi, Liz. <laughs> All right. I see you. Hey, buddy. Hi, Okay. Honey. Hi. I was about to cry some white lady tears if this didn't no, work. No, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, maybe, maybe you were just colorblind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to talk about our matching no. tattoos now? <laughs> we don't have them, everyone. Don't, don't go outside. It's just been get a discussion. It's We've just been, been chatting discussion. about it, just, just ideating on some <gasps> sketches. Art trap, if you will. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Azure. Thanks, everybody. Hi. You too. <laughs> A modern day patience. said it's too soon. <laughs> I You're had to right. start my phone all over again. I mean, what kind of phone? What are you? Uh, what kind I of want you to understand that I have a, a, an iPhone like other people have, and I am yes. on the internet like other yes. people are. That's this that. is just, this just, I'm not, I just, I don't know. I just, yeah. I'm glad to be here, everybody. Uh, thank you for my <laughs> welcome on the Teller Summit page. Yes. It's my second home. <laughs> and like my original home, a broken and dysfunctional one. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that we laugh in the most inappropriate spaces around like very heavy tragedy, <laughs> you know? And I, I don't think we're well adjusted. I think that that's what uh, it's saying is that oh, we may be struggling. God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, How are you? I'm well. Okay, I good. I am well. Um, please, you are good with technology, Liz, said somebody. You know what? That's sweet, but it's, you don't need to say that because we all know that it's, it's not true. And I and lying love to, <laughs> limited, lying to people who have limitations about the fact that they don't have limitations is kind, but it's also just a little, it's, it's a lie. It's a little patronizing. It's also lying. <laughs> it's, it's mostly lying, mostly. But I what I do love is how you show up for Liz. You always know. do, they you do. know, and they, they do. They want, they want to make sure that you know that you're good at so many things. Yeah. Yeah, you're you know? good at the books and the words, somebody said. Yeah, you, you're good at yeah. the books. And not always the She's words. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes people can't spell. Mm -mm, oh, do? No, just the books. I'm good at the books. Um, I, had, I had an idea um, for when, when I get to see you, yes. actually, in August. Yes. I told Samantha, I thought, why don't we have a spelling bee? I love it. We could, we could stand socially distanced apart right <clears throat> and we could we could let the words come sure. via the internet sure. you know I and then it. and then we we stand there and we spell them would you like to hear about the last time i was in a spelling bee <laughs> i would love i would love it because i feel like it's going to be tragic 
It is. Okay. Um, it was in seventh grade and the word was cockroach. And I <laughs> don't know what this says about me, but I couldn't spell cock. <laughs> so I spelled it C-O-K-E-R-O-A-C-H. Um, like Coke. Coke Roach. Coke yeah. Roach. Coke Roach. And maybe that's a Freudian problem. I don't know, but I was, um, somebody said that's a rough one. Yeah, Coke yeah. is real hard. It's a real hard one. Um, so, so yeah. yeah. Um, that's, you know, that's we, harder. We go. When was the last yeah, time you were in a spelling bee? You know, I can't, I can't know. But when you said that story right now, I was asked to leave a yoga class hmm. uh, twice. For spelling? Um, no, for talking, <laughs> just talking. And uh, and so, you know, someone is worried that you might have a dependency issue. Um, so, yeah, so I just, I, I was asking. Who were you the, talking to? A friend or the, a, the class? The people, the people just nearby. The people? Yeah. You're doing yeah. like a... A, a play-by-play commentary. Yeah, I just was like, <laughs> "What are we? How do we do that?" I see what you did there. How, so, how did you get? So, you just put your arm. Word. Okay. So now we also breathe. And they were like, "Inside." And I'm like, "Inside of where? Where do you want me to go? <laughs> inside too?" And they were like, "Quiet your mind." I'm like, "Have you been in here?" Oh. And then they were like, "Oh, this probably isn't the right class for you." And they they spa voiced me. They came over to me, and they were like. <clears throat> We um we love we love that this is something that you're trying and I think that you know um it might maybe something different like a contact sport or um you know hiking and I'm like hiking <laughs> oh. yeah that should fit I don't want to be in a yoga class that kicks Azure Antoinette out for talking stream of consciousness. I mean, that people would, I would actually pay double to be in that class, honestly. It was, I was trying to ask helpful questions. So sure. I know I wasn't the only one that had them. I, mm -hmm. I am not advanced. You know, I'm still learning what some of the words are. Some of the words I think are people. They aren't people, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know when we're entering in and out. I, I don't mm -hmm. know how to quiet it down. And, you know, I don't know. Don't know That's why I came. invite stillness into no, your, into your no. breathing. No, I don't mm -hmm. think so. And they were just like, the breath. And I'm like, whose? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't know if this was a, a dental hygienic issue. You know, like I just came in. I just came in. My first yoga class that I went to 30 years ago when yoga wasn't yet yoga, which now reminds me of something my friend Jake Tomsky, who's been on this before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, once mm -hmm. tweeted, whoever invented yoga must be rich. <laughs> which I thought was very funny, but um, this was before yoga got really invented to the degree that it is now. And I went with my friend, Margaret, and we signed up for a six week class and we didn't really know what it was. And she said, do you think we should, she said to me before we went, do you think we should wear anything special? And I said, I, I bet the first class is just a lecture and um, where they just talk about the fundamentals. So mm -hmm. um, we went out and we got, we each got a chicken calzone and we went then to the yoga class in our in our jeans. <laughs> but a chicken calzone, no? Like, <laughs> Each one of us with a nice. full chicken calzone in yeah. the stomach, a yeah. full-on chicken calzone. Oh, that's a terrible um, idea. I Elgie. know a, it turned out to was... not be a really super great idea, but um, yeah. Oops, my ear fell out. Hang on. Do we have to start the thing over again now? Just because no, no. I don't know how things work. Um, Chicken, don't you try to don't project? <laughs> Chicken calzone is my favorite thing. Whenever, whenever you overeat and then you play a game, I like to play this game with people when you've stuffed yourself where you're like, what is the least appetizing thing you could imagine eating right now? I've never been able to come up with anything better than a chicken calzone when you've had, like after Thanksgiving dinner, like you guys want to go out okay. and get a chicken calzone? Like <laughs> no. on top of that? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was this Margaret Thompson that you were hanging out with? Margaret Cordy. I, I, just, I just get used to seeing people's names now. I just have uh, started referring to some of the tellers by their at names. So their, modern uh, day mistressism. I call her modern day Deb because her name's Deb. <laughs> and so I just, I, usually, I usually just yell out like modern day. Hey, modern day you know? Deb. Yeah. And I, I know Jolene's in Chicago, you know, and Jill who writes a book. 
I know who Jill is. She writes a book. Hi, like Molly. it. So I just, that's what I'm Aww. saying. Like, that's where I'm at. I They're love our pretty... Teller family. Hi, Amy. I know Amy's on this call because Amy, Amy's you know here. Amy. She'd ah, be there. Absolutely. She sees me. Hi, modern day Mrs. Yeah. Hi, modern day <laughs> she, she sees me. <laughs> you see me. You really see me. <laughs> you see me. You do. You take it in. Yeah. So, uh, so Ashley's the best. Um, family, uh, we've got some news. Well, We've got a little, a little, can I tell them what you're doing, what you're offering? Yeah. I love when you do this it? stuff live. This I is know, my right? favorite part of our friendship. I know where I'm like, Hey, I've got a good idea. Why don't I tell everybody? A thing? <laughs> we should, we should do it after we read poems. Okay. Let's do that. But first we have to talk about the thing at hand because if we don't, Savannah is going to come find us both and feed us chicken calzones. <laughs> maybe for a die. couple of days <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so maybe until we die um teller travels teller yes. travels teller so travels. we are going across the united states in this cute little story lab and it should be done here in a few days it's really exciting and uh we're working with some really cool additional tellers that we've met along the way um that you know have all their stories about where they come from so it's it's really pretty gorgeous and um so we leave uh july 13th is what we're looking at and our tour is posted up on the Instagram and you can see all the stops and we're doing the stuff. And yes, we are going to be safe. We are going to be taking all of the precautions, y'all. Um, we value each and every single one of you, your homes, your families, your towns. Uh, and, and we will, we will be, be sure. Are to you going to be staying in people's, all of the guidelines. people, tellers in their homes? Well, the goal is the reason we got the trailer is so, yeah we could we could do that so we can get to these cities and some of these places i have some work to do in between that's kind of come up um so on those days we'll probably you know like find a, a hotel or or something that's safe and, and and good um but yeah the goal is to just meet these folks we want them to show us their towns hopefully you know like we meet some people that are doing some cool stuff i know that they are i know i know that they are I know we wish we could come to the UK too. Oh, and Hawaii for sure. Y'all are the best. You all are the best. We can't wait to go doing the stuff again. Global um, teller travels. Will yeah, be that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. So we, we are going to go. We're going to tell these stories. Um, Savannah's planned the route um, <clears throat> to take us like in, in a pretty like effective and efficient crawl like across the US, which would be cool. And it's we're looking at uh, eight weeks eight weeks wow. so eight weeks yeah. on the road man we're gonna see some things jen pasilov just said you can have her sofa in in uh venice beach where jen i didn't hear that that's where you live right um my driveway is so excited says jill writes a book oh <laughs> i love it i love it are you gonna yeah joanna a worth it yeah yeah um, are you going to make a, a documentary, a little movie about that? That's, that's the plan. Um, what, what we're going to try and do is link up with Santa a Monica. few, sorry, with a, okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. with a few, um, a few storytellers that do it through media. So we're talking like video photographers, um, working with them on putting kind of this whole crawl together. Yeah. And I'll be like doing testimonials and videos and stuff like while we're there, I'm, I am not a super efficient driver. Uh, so I won't, I won't be doing much of that. Uh, so do you need like, me well, to do any of the camera work or if editing? You or, could, you know, um, what would be great is probably have you manage our Instagram, our yeah, lives. And yeah, because yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know, I know you how much like you love social media just brand techie. manager. Yeah. That? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> I would love it if great. we could do an IG takeover with you, you know what? For, I while we're gone. I will volunteer that. I'll just volunteer that um, mm -hmm. as my way of showing support. I don't even need you to mm -hmm. pay me. Mm -hmm. Um this time <laughs> allyship y'all remember you, you were like what can i do what can i you do? see how liz brought her skill set of My technology <laughs> mm -hmm. how she she harnessed all of the things she knows about tech she put it together and That's she right. offered that to us I for did. free i did because That's so cool you know what i want i just want to give back and yeah, um, yeah. i've been given so much in the realm of technology and i feel yeah. like i just want to give i just want to give back i just want to yeah. serve I just, just want give. To yeah, I just want to serve. You want to? <laughs> I was with you until you said serve. Because <laughs> you were like, "Whose phone is this? How? How do I get the dial up? Is there someone that can help me with my modem?" Or that's I don't... right, Vitamin mm -hmm. Bellardo. I give forward. That's right. 
Mm -hmm. That's right. I take all that I've been, that I've learned in my computer science studies and I give Mm -hmm. forward. And you're Um, like, and you're like, and pay it forward. Sometimes that also means paying someone else. Yes. You know, Um, (laughs) when we, when we pay it forward, sometimes we go backward. Yeah, you know? that's right. Give mm-hmm. it and pause. Yeah, you, exactly. You got to give you. it, tap it, pause it. Now, is there anything that you want everybody to know about Teller Travels? Like, how can they follow you? Is it going to be, you're going to be doing live stuff on the IG? Yes. What's, tell me, tell me everything you want the people to know. Yes. Um, we are, we need all of our followers to go and follow Teller Travels so we can get some traction. Oh, it's got um, its own IG. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm just here to help. I'm here. Look, Azure, listen, real talk. I'm here to ask the dumb questions that people would ask in the comments so that they don't have to. Oh, I'm here. I'm saving everybody trouble. I'm saving the people the trouble of asking the dumb questions. I'm saving you the trouble of having to answer them. I will take the hit to ask the dumb questions. Teller Travels is its own Instagram account. Is that correct? Don't look at me like that. Oh, she's taking her glasses off. Oh, that's it. <laughs> hold my iced coffee. This yes. Is serious. Someone hold my dial-up router. Hold. Hold my dial-up connection. Um, no, it's it's um. You were one of our first followers. Really? Okay. So. <clears throat> uh, ooh, Teller Travels, yes, has its own Instagram. Go to it. Follow it. Like Liz did, because Liz is, she's a vanguard. Y'all know. She's just, she's right. She's asking the questions <clears throat> so that you don't have to ask them. I love that. She's a giver. Service. Service. Serve. Your, right back to the word of the day. Pay it Service. forward. <laughs> forward, <laughs> backward, sometimes to the side. Go. Follow it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to do postcards. We're going to be, um, Savannah's got me uh, on this uh, disposable camera tip. She's like been taking them around. And so we're going to do that. I think that'll be super fun. Um, yes, we will be doing a few lives from the road and, and putting together a lot of content. But the, the whole goal is to, to really just experience some of these stories in real time as much as we can. Um, so it, it's, it, it's something that I think will be a beautiful way to um, provide a little bit of movement in a time that's been a little bit static for us all uh, and, and still focus in on, you know, the thing we've been talking about, LG is just constantly creating, you know, like finding Constant ways to creative response. Yeah. Just to find a way to channel some of the energy, some of the things that we're, you know, we're processing and that we're all going through. Like it's, it's, um, it's a time it's, it's, it's a time. So I think this will be a really beautiful way to, to pass, pass some of the time that's around us, um, be able to see how people are engaging in their spaces. Uh, I think we, I think we get a chance to pass through Minneapolis. If I'm not like speaking out of turn, I'm excited about that. I want to talk to some of the folks down there. I know we've got a a teller there as well. Um, Cake Seeks Frosting and she runs a, a movement that helps uh, displaced women um, coming from domestic violence situations. And um, her and her partner there are doing some great work as well. So, and I know she was one of the small businesses that was out helping um, mm-hmm. to to stay mobilized to to help people that that needed assistance. And and I'm I'm excited about that. I'm really I feel pretty excited about that. I'm excited to meet some of you. I, I really am. It's going to be awesome. And all our global folks, we want nothing more than to come see you. And we will do it. And and we will we will do it as soon as it is safe. Um, and, and people are in a space that uh, allows for some more liberty on all of our sides. So that is, that is the hope. That is the plan. Go follow Teller Travels like my dear, dear VIP buddy, my partner in crime, <laughs> like Elizabeth Gilbert. You go to Teller Travels and I'll spell it for you. T-E-L-L-E-R Travels. T-R-A-V-E-L-S. Teller okay, Travels. Okay, got that, guys. There's no H in the Teller. And mm-hmm. you're doing the American version of travelers, not the British version of travelers. No, not with the two L's, um, the one L, right? Oh, you know, I didn't know that that was British. The, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, 
next question I have for you is Tell what me. if like somebody's like, God, I love this idea. It's so cool. It's so inspiring. You give me hope. You elevate my life. I wish I could be part of it. Hey, can I contribute some gas money to this? How would they do that? Yes, you can. Um, we have for all of our U.S. folks, Teller has its own Venmo. <clears throat> and I'll, uh, I'll spell that out for you here. Tell her dash summit. Okay. That's us on Venmo. Um, and there's and so also T E L L H E R dash summit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep me on my toes with that H is your, I know you put it in. Sometimes you I take it out. Right. And there's not really a rule. You're right. Nope. That's true. You're right. Like to um, me, you like keep me guessing. Okay. Yes. And we also have a list that we're going to put up on Amazon. Um, like where you, you guys can go and help us with, we just need some basic stuff. Like we need to, I think we have to get a generator and like a few things just that we'll need while we're traveling. But yes, you can definitely do that. We're going to put up a cool little campaign this coming Tuesday um, where it shows you can contribute a dollar. $5, $20. If our whole teller following went and, and put that out there and gave us a dollar, y'all, we'd be halfway to the cash that we need. If you gave us five bucks, we could do it. If you all give 20 bucks, I don't even know. We could probably you, like, you find would never a way to, need to stop traveling. Yeah. We could probably find a way to put the camper on a boat. I'm just saying <laughs> for those of you that I are like across that. water bodies, you know, so <laughs> yeah. And our website is tellertravels.com and it's on Teller Summit. Uh, yeah, it's like a wedding list. E L L E R travel. The website is the website is properly spelled. <clears throat> I would like to explain this uh, while I have a whole captive audience here. Tell her, um, tell her is it goes it stands directly for the summit, and the summit is taking place this coming April in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I believe we just got the dates. And that's a, that's a beautiful Ooh, thing. Cool. So we're, we're, we're very excited about that. And it's right around the same time as it was last year, which is, which is or this past year. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, <clears throat> and we're very, very excited about that. So Teller Summit was a space that I wanted to architect uh, a, a community where people could come together and listen to women tell their stories. So it, it, it is for anyone, but we will always give our stage to women storytellers. In any media, in, in any space, we, we, want to, we want to make sure that we are a company <clears throat> that is always steeped in the equity of equality. Always, 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 always. So that's what it's about. Um, and that's the Teller Summit. And what has come out of the Teller Summit is all of you and your amazing support, <clears throat> which led us to Teller Travels. Um, and Teller Travels is just part of like the whole Storyteller Network community. And we just want to mobilize and get out there and tell these stories and, and meet you, um, see what you're doing in your life. How are you activated? How are you creating? How are you making space in the world for more stories, new stories? Um, so, and as far as the age goes, as a poet, I like to just uh, throw stuff out there that um, doesn't have any, any rhetoric rules. Uh, <laughs> and it makes it difficult for some people to spell it. Some people, but you know, most people it seems to be okay for, but some people yeah. it's just and it's okay. It's all yeah. right. It's okay. <laughs> We're all at novelists <laughs> different times. Really yeah. <laughs> it's a, fine. This is this is where novelists and poets have trouble like yeah. communicating with each other because of extra we letters. Get stuck. Extra letters and punctuation where the novelist's like, ah, what? Why is that? What's okay. happening? What are you okay. doing to? What are you doing and to I English? Sh- I should and meet you where you like, are, calm right? Calm mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. English mm-hmm. is going to be just fine. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's exactly what I've been saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, um, yeah. And I'm going to see you guys on August 11th yes. in New York City. Yes. And that's going and to be, y'all, I awesome. haven't seen Liz in person in a, a long time. It's probably going to be a whole mess. It's probably, it's probably going to be, we can't know. It's going to be so good. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be so good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's happening. And yes. We, we love that. And um, <clears throat> we are excited. Um, and, ah, oi, querida. We've got some Brazilians or Portuguese people there. Nice. Um, nice. So. Where else does that take us? Should we read some us? poems? Yes. Let's read some poems. You uh, entertain the folks. Try to, I'll be right back.
don't be long. I get separation anxiety. I feel I like know, when I used I know, to I be at the, at the grocery shop too. with my mom would leave me in the, in the line and go back to get something. And I'd be like, don't leave me in this grocery line and go back and get something because what if you never come back and I don't have money because I'm a child and I'm, I don't know how to do grocery, grocery. Um, so that's what I feel like when you leave. <laughs> Boy, <clears throat> after, after that, I'll stay here because uh, I, I don't want to take you back no, to that no, time. No, no, don't and be I, codependent. Don't feed into <laughs> my terrible codependence. Go get whatever you were going to do. You're going to go get a book? Oh, guys, how do you leave after that? She was like, sometimes when you go away, it reminds me of being a toddler <laughs> when my mother left me in line by myself and I didn't have any money because I was a child. Okay. And she might have, yeah, but go on, go. It's and just, I'll time. be fine. It's fine. Take your time. Um, okay. She's going to go get a book and, and I'm going to look at, I'm going to just breathe through this. Hi, Sarah Jones. You guys, we have, yes, I'm Sarah Jones with us. Um, hi, Mesa Fama. Um, everybody, if you do not follow, yes, I'm Sarah Jones, you must, because she's so marvelous and she's such a beloved friend of mine. And now she is here. Um, and you're all, I love how you're all reaching out to me from your own codependency to mm -hmm. nourish and soothe my codependency. That's like actually probably super dysfunctional of all of us. <laughs> um, so what I said to Azure earlier, hi, Sweden. Talk so meekin for coming. Um, hi, Simple Fire Style. Hi from New Zealand. How are you guys doing, boy, New Zealand? You're handling this COVID like champs. Why is New Zealand, why is New Zealand better at everything than everybody? We all just are inspired by you, New Zealand. Um, here is what I want to say. We, uh, Azure and I spoke earlier, and we thought that it would be nice if we each read a favorite poem while we were doing this. Oh my gosh, she's back. And I didn't have to pay for my own groceries. <laughs> did you, did I hear you say that they were just like supporting you through their own? They were, they were, whole, they were really, what it was, was it was like, it was just a real, yeah, it was just a real nourishing gathering of love, otherwise known as total dysfunction and enabling. Um, so mm -hmm. we're going to read poems um would you like to go first what do you got what do you got no. you don't want to go first mm -mm. okay so no, no. we're going to read favorite i said why don't we each read a favorite poem and it was a very last minute thing and um i'm not in my apartment in new york where most of my books are um so i had this lovely experience of i've got my like secondary bookshelf here and um i grabbed a book of poems by a woman named kate light who um was a beautiful i'm going to show you her picture she was a beautiful exquisite being who's um, really was made of light. Um, she died far too young. She, she got cancer and died not too long ago. She was a cellist and she was a poet. And I met her at the very first reading I ever did of my work in New York City at the KGB bar in probably, oh my God, I'm going to say 1995, something like that. And um, so this is a very old collection um, of hers called Gravity's Dream. And I opened it up today and I had the delight of finding that I had a page flagged, which is such a wonderful thing. I believe in flagging pages. I believe in writing in, in books. I believe in loving and mauling and chewing books. I don't think they should be, um, I don't think they should be treated as pristine objects. I think they should be treated like a feast. Um, and, uh, and, and then 20 years later, like just now, when you pick up a book you haven't looked at, you can see where you flagged something that meant something to you 20 years ago. And I was like, what was this poem that meant something to me 20 years ago? And I read it again today and I was like, I have the same, I remember why it meant something to me then. It means something similar but different to me today. So I'm going to read it to you. It's by Kate Light. It's from the book Gravity's Dream. It's called, it's a sonnet. It's called Feeling for Two. Actually, not a bad, not a bad poem to be read when we were just talking about codependency. Okay, Feeling for Two. Feeling for Two is a woman's gift or curse. We are engineered to be that way. All the childless portion of our lives, I suppose, we rehearse that intuition, stick to itiveness, concernedness. As a child, I would not slash along competitive lines to get what I wanted. I was too identified with those who wished for things that could be mine. The gods of greed, the creed, I never deified. Well, here I am now, with a few badges of waged war, 
Here I am, growing older and less floating in possibility. And I, who waved flags of more, more, want less of flags and more of happiness. A place in the country for quiet, for finding out what's true. A few soft shirts and lots of art and you. That's beautiful. I love that last line so much. The final couplet, a place in the country for quiet, for finding out what's true, a few soft shirts and lots of art and you. And I'm reading this from a place in the country, which I did not have 25, 30 years ago. I'm yeah. wearing a soft shirt. I'm looking at all my art. And the you to me in this poem now is Rhea, who also used to live in the same house where I am yeah. and who I feel yeah. her presence of so much here. And I thought, how yeah. miraculous to pick up a book from 30 years ago. She left us too soon. And um, that's my poem of the day. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I picked <clears throat> a book uh, by Billy Chapata called Chameleon Aura. And Billy, I found quite a few years ago um, on the Instagram hashtag poets of IG, which uh, can be a can be a hard space to hang out in, but sometimes you find some really amazingly beautiful work. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think they're asking who your poet was, Liz. You want Her to name tell was Kate time? Light. Kate Light. Beautiful. Spelled like the light in the room. And it's a sonnet from a book called Gravity's Dream. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so Billy, I picked two ones. Two. One is really short. The first one says, Darling, You've got magic in your bones and gold in your soul. Don't let anyone treat you like you're ordinary. <clears throat> so I thought that that was really beautiful. And it reminded me of Big Magic, which reminded me of the poem that I wrote for you for that book, you know, just talking about like capturing all of that and harnessing it. Um, so in this one, it's called Choose Yourself. He says, I hope that you learn that choosing yourself will always be the most beautiful love language that you could ever learn. I hope you prioritize yourself that you learn to never betray your intuition. I hope you learn to open your soul and listen when God is speaking to you. I hope you learn to grow from past inflictions. I hope you stop using the past as an excuse for stagnancy and realize your divinity. <clears throat> it's such a beautiful benediction. Yeah, he, um, he's a black poet and uh, <clears throat> I've been really digging into finding more living black writers uh, that I can get behind as well um, in these spaces, because I think we tell stories a bit differently from our predecessors, um, but there is still always a lot of beauty in seeing how we're moving through the world with intersectionality, um, how we're moving through <clears throat> these different phases of oppression and, and different spaces of what's happening in our civility around our humanity. And uh, he's just always got a lot of brevity. And I think that, <laughs> sorry, someone said that just punched me in the face. <laughs> and I just, I just told you about that this morning. I just said, let's punch this day let's in the face. Let's punch this day in the face. Yeah. And it's aggressive, but I really like it. Um, but so, sometimes you love something so much, you just have to punch it in the face with love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, Ray and used I want... to say that to me. She's like, I love you so much. I'm going to punch, I'm going to punch you. I'm going to mm -hmm. hit you with a cinder. She used to say, I'm going to hit you with a cinder block, which might not seem loving, but it was just that she was so full of, she was like, I'm going to grab you and I'm just going to. I want to impale you with I'm gonna this cement. I'm going to throw you out of a window. I love you so much. Like, oh, I just, just love just, you Sometimes so... you just have to resort to that, mm -hmm. like, resort to that mm -hmm. language. <laughs> yeah, just like real, like real hard, hard aggression. Yeah, like I love you so much. I'm going to throw you on the third whale. I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to do it. I, I'm gonna, I love you I'm, so much. I'm going to put you in an industrial blender and I'm going to oh. blend you up and then I'm going to drink you with a giant pipe straw. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you do when you just love it. Just, ugh. it always, it goes just a, uh, just a scotch too far with us. I think it's the pipe straw. Uh, <laughs> I think it, I think it's when you were like, I'm going to have you ground so finely that then I'll use a boba straw to take in any of the chunks that weren't but obliterated. That one because turtles. 
Turtles. So um, now you had, you were saying something. <laughs> you were saying something uh, about this poet. You were saying something about this poet and about the way. Brevity. Um, brevity. Very brief messages yeah. um, of encouragement, enlightenment, uh, forgiveness. Um, empowering like it's it's that's what it's that's what it is and it and it comes through um in in very beautiful ways and truncated ways and I, and I I feel like he writes for the reader that maybe has some trouble focusing on the long game which that's important too it's important to have right. different levels um be right. able to engage with your work it can't just be all one you know so right. it's 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 good to be able to know that you you can entertain different styles of an audience it's good to know as a writer that your writer doesn't your, your writing doesn't get trapped in a space where then it can't reach someone else yes chameleon chameleon aura by billy chapata um, how do you spell the last name chapata that's <laughs> <laughs> It's not Billy Chipotle, everybody. Yeah, it's not. not Chipotle, uh, Chipotle. <laughs> That's C-H-A-P-A-T-A. -A -A. First name, Billy, properly spelled. The name of that poem, uh, it was Darling and... I've lost it. <clears throat> I'll find it. Someone, I will find it, and I will put it in the story. I love that, I love that you... Um... I love your defense of a short, simple poem, because mm -hmm. I know that even as a reader, I mean, I'm a pretty, pretty voracious reader, but like, you know, there's a part of me that dies a little bit when I open up a book and I see a seven page long poem. I'm like, oh boy, you know, here we go. Like, you know, cancel my appointments for the afternoon, you know, and there's mm -hmm. something really nice about just, there's something really nice and, and, and something very powerful about the short, punchy, um, yeah. you know, that's, there's, a, and there's a place <clears> for the seven page poem. And you and I agree, like, I think we, we, that song of the song of ourself and, and leaves of grass and Walt Whitman, like we, you know, we want that. Yeah. There's a, there's a place for the yeah. epic, but there's also a place for like, I only have a minute here and I need to be moved. You know, right. Um, right. what can you give me? For sure. And it's important too. like when, when I, when I talk about poetry, when I, when I have, you know, um, gotten a chance to read so much of the work as we put together pivot and pause, you know, it's important that people know that there's always space for free writing. It's important that people know that there's always space to, you know, expand or try a different thing. You can't, you can't always just nail it out the gate. You can't always yeah. just make that guys. Could we just, could we just, um, uh, yeah, no, it's all good. I just have trouble focusing. I'm the worst. You're fine. You're good. Noise. I like the dog and up squirrel. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so being able to retool that being able to, um, read something, re-examine it, take it apart, put it back together. Um, and maybe it came out just three lines, but those three lines is what someone really needed. You don't want to bury that under so much narrative because you think it's absolutely necessary. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Just logged in. My name is Azure Antoinette. I run the Teller Summit and I am sitting here chatting with Elizabeth Gilbert. Um, so yes, it, it's, it's important that you know that you can have different forms. And sometimes a poem needs to be that long. Sometimes you have all of those things that you really want to say and it's a manifesto and you stand by that. And that's super cool too, but there has to be, there has to be levity. There's got to be range. That's super, super important. And I love that he sticks with that. I love that that is, that's his space and he owns that and he commands that because if we don't leave room for different genre, if we don't leave room to change the media, to expand the medium, then we all get stuck just reading the same four lines or the same, the same dirge or the same introduction. And, and what we need more of right now, especially right now, is more stories. We need more stories from new voices. We need voices to, to just be in their space and feel safe enough to lend their prowess and their opinion and, and how they feel in the world. They need to know that, that we are open as a public to receiving that, however they put it out there. And we need to we need to give space and room for that. We have to give space and room for different styles and different stories and new voices. So that was God, my When I hear you teach like this, because you know so much about poetry and you're such a great teacher, um, it makes me wish you had a course that you taught people online. 
Is that what you feel? Yeah. That was just the segue that I naturally had in my mind. I was like, God, I wish, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't you guys wish that? Don't you guys wish that you had private sessions with Azure where she worked with you on your manuscript or she worked with you on your poetry or on your, your writing project? Like, don't you wish there was a way that you could have like what I have with Azure where I get to talk to her intimately one-on-one -on -one, that you could, that you could have that? Well, there is bitches. <laughs> no, Taylor Summit. She didn't just call all of you bitches. That's not what happened because there Elizabeth is. Gilbert wouldn't do that. She wouldn't there do it. Is. She wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. Yeah, cannonball. That's damn right, Amy. That you are damn right. <laughs> Cannon into a flame. There is. This exists, and this is what I'm going to tell you about because Azure's strangely too shy, self-conscious, retiring. I don't know. You need to know that there's a new thing that is uh, <laughs> out there. Did you just tell him I retire? <laughs> no, you're retiring. You're shy and retiring. She doesn't. She doesn't like to promote herself quite as much as I like to promote her. And this idea, which um, is something that I've been pleading with her to do for a very long while, because I think you are an extraordinary teacher. Um, I think you are an extraordinary communicator. I love our one-on-one -on -one time. I wish more people had access to it. And somebody just said, how do you spell bitches? <laughs> do, you, do you ever think to yourself, those of you that aren't Liz, you're sitting there with your friend and you, you look over at your friend in a public space and you're like, why are you like this? What? Why are you this uh -huh. way? Do you think that to your, do you have that friend in your heart, in your life that you're like, oh, less of that. Don't do it. <laughs> stop doing L everything that you're, stop. Do you guys ever think before you speak? Because I don't. <laughs> and that's just, yeah, that's just what happened in that moment, Coke Roach. That's um, right, that David. is just what happened in that moment. So Azure is offering course, a course. Um, there's actually a couple levels of it. There's one that you can do that's very private, very intimate. It's limited to only nine and, and explain it. I'm going to let you explain it. And then there's a scholarship you can also offer if you want to grant this to somebody in your life who you think would be really served by this. You can offer a scholarship. There's a second tier that you can also do where you get intimacy with her at a different level. But she is now officially open for business teaching. And um, she's going to tell you more about it and the website that you can go to <laughs> for it. But um, yeah, new to IG, tell her bitches. <laughs> So yeah, I think I've probably said just about enough, possibly even too much. Um, but yes, um, go ahead. Explain Do you it. see what's happening? Explain Do you see what's happening the in the notes, Liz? Can we have cocktails? <laughs> I mean, I just, there isn't a more unlikely duo of two people that literally cover, we cover the expansion of humanity in our <laughs> chats. And then in some way, you're able to dial it down and be like, Gmail's for gays. <laughs> you know, look at the snippets that you have shared on this channel in our time together. Wow. Come on. She was oh, like, hi, I'm Elizabeth on. Gilbert. Hi. I don't think before I talk, I, I just talk. I before I talk, and I'm here with my friend Azure. It's We're here fine. to change the world. Yeah, or we're going to change it. I don't know, bitches. Or at least I can't be sure. The spelling of it. <laughs> it is so early. <clears throat> All right, I'll tell okay. you about it. Give them the information. And you guys, this is, I mean, I'm not kidding when I say that I have been pleading and begging with Azure for a long time to do exactly this thing, to offer exactly this kind of um, online course for writing because she's such a good teacher. So over to you, Azure, hit it. Um, we're going to do two courses, one for the folks that uh, have a work in progress or have a very clear idea of what they, what they want to get through. Um, and that's a more extensive, intensive course. Um, and that is Rite of Passage, which is working whether you are working in the space of memoir, if you want to put together an anthology, if you want to do a hybrid memoir, whatever that is. Um, I am I'm very into changing the world. Um, 
And the second one is called Write On, which is a poetry, like a, just kind of a poetry class. And any level is welcome. Um, uh, sorry, not Write On, workshop it. Um, and one of the things, one of my skill sets, uh, I used to coach slam poetry for a show uh, called Brave New Voices on HBO. And I loved, loved, loved working um, with, with poets on their work and how to get the story to hit as effectively and as efficiently in a space that, that made you really feel gathered behind it. And so sometimes it's very simple to fix those things. Sometimes it's very simple to just make some adjustments and move things around so that you can really hit it. And then if you're, if you're one of those people that wants to speak it, we can talk about that too. Um, but the courses are up, they are there. Um, I am prepared and pretty excited about getting back in the classroom. Where are they week. up? Oh, on my website. I'm so sorry. What is your website? Oh. <laughs> How do you spell it? <laughs> I'm just here it. to ask. I'm just here yeah. to ask the questions. No, you're to good. Save the no, people from asking the questions. You're you're doing great. You're doing Thanks. great. It's azureantoinette.com forward slash courses. Take a look. Hit me up. Ask questions. I'm always down to ask questions. Uh, if you are one of the folks that is going to talk to me about price. Um, it is an investment. If this is what you want to do, if this is who you are, I'm here for it. I'm here to teach. I am here to do that. I'm here to educate you, give you real-time experience, here to give you real-time connections if I have them, if they can be made. Um, and this is my work. This has been my work for 12 years. This is what I do for a living. This is not a hobby. This isn't something I'm hoping will take off. Um, this is this is this is who I am. Uh, we and let have... me make it more clear, you guys. Don't ask her for a discount. Just don't. Um, this is a black-owned business. This is a black artist. This is a woman who has created her own path in the world. This is a woman with decades of experience. This is a woman who has taught for years. This is a bargain. This price that she is this price that she is offering is a bargain. So just don't just don't do that. Um, and, and I want to give a shout out to yep. to Modern Day Deb, our first registered student. Modern uh, Day Deb. Modern Day Deb. Yeah, Modern Day Mysticism. She to, to me, I call her Modern Day Deb. Um, but she is enrolled in in our our memoir course, the Rite of Passage, and I'm I'm excited. We've got I have limited spots. I am not open to just taking on a bunch of people. I want to be able to give you my time. So the Rite of Passage course, the intensive, only has nine spots. That means that I can Get talk with you every single week. Um, that means I can work with you, read your manuscripts, take my time and read it and give you real feedback. And uh, I know, I know I'm going to get LG to pop in there and share some of her tips and tricks of the trade because she just loves doing that stuff. And will you get t tips and tricks? We can know. She's great I to mean, talk to though. I don't know what I'll say, you know, yeah. because I don't ever know what is yeah. going to be said, but um, yeah, you know, I'll be there. <laughs> that was really... <laughs> That was really, <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. <clears throat> um, it was really um, beautiful. Think of this. Also, if you have somebody in your life who you want to give this to as a gift, um, there's, I love that you offered that as your, as a, oh, as a, um, it's so, it's such a generous thing that you offered it as, a, as something that you, you out there, if you've got a friend who's a writer, if you've got a friend who's a poet, if you've got a family member who you want to encourage in this path, um, what a beautiful, beautiful investment in them and what a beautiful investment in your love for them and what a beautiful investment in Azure. So um, I would also really recommend doing that. I think that's a great idea. Thank and don't you. ask for, dis just much. don't ask for discounts. The price is the price. Um, we, you know, you don't go to Target and fill up your shopping cart and then go and be like, hey, can I have this for like, um, this is how much I have. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, just, Liz, someone's nope. asking if you offer something similar. No, I, honey, I don't. I'm not as generous as Azure. Um, I'm. I'm not. Uh, my 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 offerings are different. I put my stuff out there online every day in a different way. But no, I don't. I don't do one on one coaching or one on one writing training for anybody. Um, uh, a little bit for my friends. <laughs> um, but that's why this is so valuable because it's you're going to be getting yeah. I'm not. A, I'm also not a very good teacher. Um, honestly, I, I have a different role in the world. Azure's a teacher. She's done this a lot in her life. I taught writing for one semester um, at the University of Tennessee Knoxville, and I was like, I don't like doing this, and I don't think I'm good at this. I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to teach. I know how to inspire, 
but I don't know how to teach. Um, teaching is an art form and, um, and Azure has it and I don't have it. And uh, so I would direct you to her, not to me. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. Um, tellers, go Baller Teller Travels. We are launching a cool fundraising campaign on this coming Tuesday. $1, $5, $20. We would love it. Will I be doing it in the long term? Yes, I'll be teaching. I'll be teaching as, as, long, as, I, as long as I possibly can. So I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for and, it. And, if you, and for those of you who are financially strapped, I want to tell you a story. Um, uh, I want to tell you a story about me 30 years ago. So 30 years ago, I was an un unpublished writer living in New York City, which means I was a waitress. Um, I was also a bartender. I also worked in a bookstore. Um, I had seven years of rejection letters uh, um, behind me. And I was living in the East Village in a really shitty apartment with a whole bunch of people. I had no space. I had no, I had no, um, I had no free time. I had no... Yeah, I just I was wor I was working my ass off to pay my rent and I was trying to write and all I was getting was rejected. And there was um I don't know if you guys have heard of the Breadloaf Writers Colony in um in Vermont at Middlebury College. My dream was to go to the Breadloaf's Breadloaf Writers Colony um in August because they had this it's like 50 or 60 year old tradition of turning over their beautiful campus with its green grass and its beautiful trees over to writers and lots of storied and famous writers had been there over the years and 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 I had the brochure and I would just sit there in my piss smelling East Village apartment looking at that brochure and wanting to go and I think it cost two thousand dollars to go and there was just I just didn't I just couldn't begin to have that money um, and but they had a couple scholarships that were um, that they give two scholarships a year. And in order to go, you had to wait tables. You were allowed to go, but you had to work and you had to wait tables on the other people who could afford to go. Um, and, and I was like, I'll do that. Like I wait tables anyway. Like, and I wrote them, I sent them my short stories. I did an application and I wrote them a letter and I said, listen, you guys, I literally said, listen, you guys, I may not be the best writer who's applying for this scholarship, but I'm the best waitress. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am the best Waitress, I've been doing wait. I've been waiting tables for a really long time. Like you would not be making a mistake to bring me on to wait tables on your people who can afford to do this. Right. And um, and I was like, that's a charming letter. I'm gonna get this scholarship. I'm gonna get to get out of New York in August, and I'm gonna get to go to the Breadloaf Writers Colony. I'm gonna meet real writers who are published. I'm gonna have this experience. And I was not accepted. Um, and and I cried real tears over it um, because I had invested a lot of in hope that I would be able to go. Um, I couldn't afford it. There was no way that I was going to be able to go. Um, and I cried about it and I was sad about it. And here's what I did not do. I did not write a letter, an outrage to Middlebury College and the Breadloaf Writers Colony telling them to change their pricing because I couldn't afford to go. I did. It never would have occurred to me to do that. Like I just, they just told me you're not invited. And I was like, okay, I didn't get the scholarship. I can't go. And so you know what I did? I didn't go. Um, and I also wasn't going to put myself in debt to go because I knew that that would be harming me in the future. I could have put it on a credit card, but I couldn't have afforded that. So I just didn't do it. And instead, I kept, I stayed in New York that summer in my garbage apartment, and I kept writing. And you know what happened by the end of that year? Nothing. I was still an unpublished writer, <laughs> still living in that apartment. And you know what happened by the end of the next year? Nothing. I was still an unpublished writer, still living in that apartment, still writing. It took another three years for me to be published after that and for my career to begin. But I kept writing. So what I get frustrated with when I hear people being like, I should get to have this thing even though I can't. I'm like, no, you, your path is your path. Um, don't, you know, your financial stability and your financial security is your responsibility. I, I didn't put myself in debt to go. I didn't go to graduate school. I don't have an MFA. I couldn't afford it. And I wasn't going to put myself in $60,000 of debt to go be a, a creative writer. <laughs> I was like, and you know, and, and I'm just going to, I'm going to interrupt, like very yeah. similar to Liz's story. When I got discovered by Oprah Winfrey, the, the day that I met her, the day that I told Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, I had $3 to my name. That's all true. Like you love what you love. 
And for me, leaving human resources and deciding to become a commissioned poet when there was no commissioned poets, I am the number one Google search. That was something I had to do for myself. And I worked and I worked six different jobs at call centers, got fired every single week from different jobs, from leaving to auditions that I never got. And so the entitlement that people feel, I have now received six different very heinous emails from people demanding refunds, chastising me about my prices for the Teller Summit. Um, and it is, it, is, it is a feeling I can't even describe because we are sitting in the middle of an American civil revolution. I am a black owned business, I am a female, I am a millennial, I have multiple sclerosis, I carry my disability with, with humility and with pride. So when people ask me, what can I do to support you? Don't ask me to work for you for free. Don't tell me how much you enjoy watching my free videos and watching the posts that Liz gives This is the way that I'm able to, to get MRIs because I live in a country that doesn't have a medical system, uh, an insurance system that actually works for someone like me. So if it's not for you, that's okay. What is for you will never, ever pass you. And if what I'm is not for, for you, you will never, it will ever never pass you. Pass You're you. never going to miss an opportunity because and whatever don't you think those you, bitches at Breadloaf now wish that they had let me come on right. that wait, wait, waiting right. show? A hundred percent. And I you, wasn't angry at them. For sure. I wasn't angry at them. Sure. I was like, oh, I tried to do a thing and I didn't get in. And yeah. now I have to go back to work. Yes. And that's it. A hundred percent, y'all. And yeah. as you're asking more questions about what do I do, just just support. And maybe this isn't the thing. Find people of color, find black businesses and support them. Don't ask them to be different to suit you. Just be. I am a yeah. phenomenal educator. I love telling stories and I love people. I love human beings. And if we can spend some time together and make your writing super badass, I'm here for it. And if that's and not also, for you, that's okay too. Look at what too. a great teacher she is because right this minute, ladies, 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 Azure is showing you how to set your price, how to say this is what my time is worth, this is what my creativity is worth, this is what it costs, doesn't hurt my feelings if you don't buy it. So you know, um, like this is the price. So, so that pass that along to your friends too. Like just, if it's important to you, you know, if, if getting, if you're in debt, get out of debt, get out of debt. If that's important to you, don't do this. You. Yeah. Like, take care of your life, take care of your life in the way that you can. And if it's important to you, put a dollar in a coffee can jar every day for the next 1,200 sure. days and you will have enough money to take it in two and a half years. For so sure. just like, Play the long game here, you guys. But um, yeah, everybody who can take this class, it's going to be awesome. I guarantee it. She's an amazing teacher. She's an amazing speaker. She's an amazing human being. You will be a Thank different you. person at the end of it than you are at the beginning. And you're going to learn a lot about writing. And you're also going to just learn a lot about being an awesome human being. So um, yeah, go to website, azureantoinette.com. Perfect. Perfect. Come, um, hang out. We'll do it. We're going to have all the fun. We're going to keep it up. We're going to keep the movement going. Um, Teller Travels, I want to make sure I don't squeeze any more into this hour that we missed. So I'm going to put up another post about the phenomenal Black businesses that we're going to be supporting across the U.S. I'll send you more info about that. Thank you for coming on with us today. Liz, I love you. You know that. I love you, too. I love You're you so best. much. Thanks, guys. Oh, what's Bye the you. website? One more time. Azure AzureAntoinette.com. Yep. Slash courses. You'll find it there. Teller we'll put, Travels we'll is, yes. is the IG for your um, the the road trip. Yes. And um, and what else do we have? Teller what Travels. Is? Yeah. Yep. Teller Travels. We'll post the links. We will make sure that you have it. TellerTravels.com. Go check it out. Please go check it out. We want to see you. We want to hear from you. Send us a message. We I love, love you. you. Yes, we love you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>